Fourteen people are dead, including three children. Four others suffered serious injuries. Thirty-six hours of steady rainfall have left many homes in the metro area knee-deep in floodwaters. Power was out for three hours in eastern metro because of downed hydro lines, and police report at least 200 accidents. No injuries were reported. Cleanup is expected to take at least two days. Damage to homes... Fighting broke out overnight between rival factions along the Israeli-Syrian border. Initial reports claim Israeli jet fighters bombed a guerrilla base, killing at least 49 soldiers and 13 civilians. Damage to the base is said to be heavy, and the Israeli jets are reported to have made it back to their headquarters safely. you made me do. Do I look like the name to you? Does it really matter right now? Can you just fix this? I'm hungry. Does it really matter if I do? I think that's rude. You shouldn't be ruled by your stomach. Some compassionate being you are, leaving me to bleed all over my breakfast. Now I think there's a law about eating your own blood. Well, we both know those laws are more like guidelines these days. No, I expected you to come by. I really don't know what you hope to accomplish. Yes. I suppose a mere archangel like myself has her work cut out for her. I could leave, you know. What would you do if we stopped coming to warn you? I'd live out my last few days on this miserable planet in peace, instead of walking around with all those knuckle-dragging buffoons. Threatening me now? Well, go ahead. Do something. Please. Here, you could put flaming coals in my mouth, or or turn my food into sand, or how about you just warp me out into the street in my underwear? Please, go go ahead. Do it. See, you're just as unwilling to act as I am. So don't for a second think that you're better than me, and don't you dare threaten me, you little chicken <laughs> shit. If you had listened to me for a second, no, I am not threatening you any more than you're threatening these people with the word of the end. I'm here because I care about you, Sebastian. Don't you understand what you're feeling now? This hole that you're in? This darkness clawing at you? It's the same thing that separates every man and woman from father since the dawn of time. People need to hear what you have to say. Just because someone doesn't accept the love given doesn't mean you shouldn't offer it. No one's perfect, Sebastian. And yes, some people might be worse off than others, but you're all in the same boat. Uh, under the guise of isolation. You know, you have the right to know the truth. He gave you that right. And he'll never take that away from you. Do you want to know the truth? given everyone a piece of the story, and all they did was listen to the agony of your pain. You see? There's no one else who has escaped you but to your father. Don't you want everyone to have that escape? To have the name, like you do.
is such an idiot. Oh, praise Father, for his mercy is great and his love is infinite. And bless you, Yuri. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'd be without you. There's something I want to ask you about. I've been in this lab for a while now. Why did you wait for today to come? You seem busy. It's... No, there's something you're not telling me. No, that's for me to know before you get that. You saw your father's teachings and what they were to be true to you. And that's all you have to do. So business as usual until then? Catch you on the flip side.